subscribe to our youtube channel short entertainment legal matters but never forget to hit on like icon and share with your friends thank you ready start being aggrieved the private respondents filed a revision before the deputy director of consolidation under section 48 of the act 1953 who void his judgment dated 25 6 upheld the order of the settlement officer of consolidation on the ground that a preliminary decree is a final determination of the rights of the parties in respect of the property sought to be partitioned it is also appealable but no such appeal was filed by the petitioner herein that is respondents before the revisional court on the allegation of fraud the court perused the records and found that there was no pleading containing requisite denial of thumb impression nor the presence of the concerned in the court etc nor evidence to prove any such fraud the revisional court relied upon the decision of the supreme court reported in air 1995 sc 2493 moolchand and others versus deputy director consolidation and others to hold that a preliminary decree passed in a suit for partition under section 176 binds the parties even if those proceedings do not result in a final decree if the said preliminary decree is not challenged in appeal therefore the preliminary decree dated 13 1986 passed on the basis of compromise which had been duly proved was binding upon the petitioners and also operated as a stopel and principle of acquiescence also applied the contention of learned counsel for the petitioner is that no such compromise was entered into with the private respondents and he had no knowledge whatsoever about the said preliminary decree once the suit abated the preliminary decree could not have been appealed as any proceedings could only take place before the consolidation authorities plea of fraud was taken before the consolidation authorities which was found to be correct by the settlement officer consolidation and rightly so there was no reason for the petitioner to enter into a compromise relinquishing one third share and accepting one sixth share of the holding but the revisional court without appreciating these aspects of the matter has erred on facts and law in upturning the judgment of the settlement officer of consolidation causing prejudice to the petitioner sri vk singh learned counsel appearing for private respondents has relied upon the decision of the supreme court in the case of moolchand supra to contend that preliminary decree prepared in regular suit under section 176 for partition slash division of share which had not been appealed was binding upon the parties and had to be given effect in consolidation proceedings between the parties therefore the revisional court had adopted a correct approach in deciding the matter he contended that there was no pleading whatsoever of fraud nor was it ever proved on the question of variance of shares contrary to what the petitioner was legally entitled the plea degree being admitted to the parties he placed reliance upon the judgment of this court reported in shrimati manaraji versus deputy director of consolidation and others 2010 1 adj 249 on a bare perusal of the order of revisional court it is found that it has considered relevant aspects of the matter and issues involved thread bear stop